Hey. Have you ever been scrolling through TikTok and then stumbled upon this guy? This blonde hair bad boy that looks like Simon Pegg is known as Paul Breach. If you haven't heard of him, strap in because this gets crazy. Everyone knows it's on my bubba. It's on my boo 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 boo. It's on my bubba. Ginger guy, British, has his sex appeal stat maxed out. He posts thirst trap videos to TikTok that are more like drought trap videos because they leave me drier than a Popeye's biscuit. He is so cringy that it is unbelievable. In fact, when I scroll through TikTok, I often find myself at the precipice of the mall of maximum cringe. Some demonic creature is sucking me in, making me watch them do something insane. This guy is on another level. If you haven't seen Paul Breach, then count yourself amongst the lucky few that remain because this guy has infected everyone's timeline, everyone's For You page, everyone has seen him basically, and he has become steeped in controversy. Like a big ginger tea bag. He's been deep fried in drama, and he could even be a wolf in sheep's clothing, or a wolf in uh, vaguely Simon Pegg-esque clothing. So who is Paul Breach? He's your traditional Brit, all right? People say that he has teeth like an anglerfish. I don't say that, that's just some comments that I read on TikTok. And he has a head shaped like a tortilla. I don't say that, that's just comments that I read on TikTok. Are those things true though? Yeah. I would say that he looks like Walmart Simon Pegg though. That's accurate, you have to agree. I mean, look at this, it's crazy. He's just like any other guy who peaked in high school and explicitly only shops at Forever 21. He's a how do you do fellow kids type character. How do you do fellow kids? He's always dressed in the same clothes, typical teenager type fits, hoodie, tight pants, very tight pants. My guy has a lock on tight pants, that's for sure. He dances around and interacts on TikTok exactly like children do. It's very strange, especially when he's a man in his 40s, by the way. Sometimes I get told off for being a big, massive child or be patronizing or be condescending. But it seems that on this app, I am talking to quite a few f***ing children. He's had an interesting history on the internet, specifically TikTok up until this point, and now he's got attention on him. And with attention comes prying eyes. And with prying eyes, if you're not squeaky clean, like someone who's not, who's not, has not, never, never done anything wrong, then you're gonna get controversy. So what kind of controversy has our friend Paul Breach been entrenched in recently? The same kind that a Minecraft YouTuber would typically find themselves entrenched in. So you might be asking now, how did this guy blow up? From what, what I've seen so far, it doesn't even look that special. He just looks like your average British character. Well, he loves dancing. <laughs> so bad. He loves dancing in the bathroom, too. Oh, there's a plane crash in Tanzania. Cool. Come on. Into the lake. Our old pal Paul blew up from a video in which he was dancing in a bathroom to a song about gr green grass. Our old buddy Paul here got his first taste of fame, and then he said, let's take this to the next level. And then he danced to the same song in a field of grass the next time. Who's watching that? Who's watching that video? You? Did you watch it? Unsubscribe from my channel. Also, he went viral last month for posting a soccer song. Before the Euros, there was a footballer that nobody knows. Now it's the World Cup. And he scores his goal. His name was Jack Jack. It's about this guy named Jack Grill Grillish? Grillish? Jack Grealish. He could break me and I wouldn't say no. So maybe Paul wants to be bred by Jack. Personally, I don't see an issue with this because Jack is a handsome guy and being gay is not a crime. Right, homies? Exactly. This is the video that really blew his account up though. 300,000 followers in 30 days. That is no small number. That's a lot. That's like startup, basically. That's startup. That is incredible. Needless to say though, all of these adoring fans that Paul has gathered didn't seem to like him all that much, and they started trolling the shit out of him. Trolling him so damn much that he turned off comments to all of his videos and also his lives. He's just talking to no one. I think the word she He's just talking to no yes, one, and people are I still am. giving him money for some well, reason. Yes, we. I didn't do nothing. I've been nowhere. <laughs> but he just has he just has comments. He doesn't want it. He doesn't want it. 
And why not though? I, I feel like you would want to leave comments on for a video like this. In the live stream as well, he just keep, keeps offering to call people on FaceTime. Who? 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 Oh, you mean your top supporters? Pedo Paul, Taylor Gilvier, and Lewis? Which one are you gonna FaceTime? Pedo Paul? No one can send messages. No one can chat, bro. What are you talking about? Yeah. This is an important piece of the story, though. The whole offering to FaceTime people. This guy loves interacting with fans uh, and people in his audience without first verifying their age. This is essential in putting together the full piece of the picture as to why Paul is weird and a bit of a, a nonce, some people say. Also, just my own personal idea here, how is he getting so many likes and so many views on his live streams? Isn't the whole point of social media engagement? And on top of just engagement being the driving force for performance on YouTube and every other social media platform that exists, check this out. In 22 seconds, Paul gets 18,000 likes from 2,000 people watching. So this is super suspicious, obviously, because it just doesn't seem like it's possible. The math just doesn't seem to add up. But TikTok is a platform that you can repeatedly like a video and, you know, but how would, how would people, it's just, <laughs> swiping, swiping, tap, it just, it's too short of a time. As you can imagine, there's a ton of allegations. There's a ton of trolling and haters that Paul has to deal with. How does he respond to this haters gonna hate type mentality that these people on TikTok have that are hating on Paul? <laughs> Because it's crazy, it's really exciting. You tell me off for meeting 20 olds. What happens if I was a 42 year old gay man and a bunch of 20 year old men asked me to go to the football? Well, Paul says that he has nothing to hide, which is good. You've shown me things I posted on whatever in 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007. I don't change. I'm still the guy. Which makes sense because someone who doesn't have anything to hide would probably turn their comments off and completely have a media blackout on all of his videos and content and just accept money and that's it. But Paul's a man with attitude, so it makes sense. He acts like he is the metaphorical shit in his videos, as you can tell by the ones we've showed you here. But I fucking love love me and he doesn't really seem to respond that well to criticism he's angry because people don't want him to message under us never told be yourself be yourself i am being myself and it's like no no i haven't got version one live if i turn the comments on oh he's being mean oh i like you you're funny oh no he's that oh he's this he's this he's this he's this he's this let alone the fucking weird lie shit he does have the attitude of a child it seems like which is Ironic. Probably good reasoning as to why he surrounds himself with people that are so, so young. So when did these suspicions about Paul arise? You know, all the things people been calling him. We've noticed he turned his comments off. He seems like he has a bit of a secret. I don't know. It all started with an online investigator, probably just a random guy on TikTok, finding that Paul had liked multiple images on Instagram of girls between the ages of 16 and 17 in their swimsuit with similar clothes as that. So not, not a good look for a 40 year old man. Paul's official response to this was that he only liked those images because she was a cancer survivor. An online investigator found photos on Instagram that Paul had liked. Some of these photos were young girls, 16 and 17, in their prom dresses and bikinis. It was shown to Sophie after they had split up, and she privately called him out on it. Paul said that he had only liked these photos as the young girl was a cancer survivor. Upon investigation, it was proved that the girl had no idea who he was, making the whole scenario even weirder. And this is also when he did a rebrand of his entire channel to Beauty Beyond the Eye. So he's Trying to move on, basically, from that, it seems like. But things in the public eye really started to blow up and turn sour for Paul when a user known as My Name's Boo 1.0, or Boo for short, she compared her ex to Paul, who had groomed her as a child. Many moons ago, when I was 16, I was dating a 27-year-old man. Which made Paul very, very angry, and he called her out on his live. <laughs> Paul has mentioned his age, his ex-girlfriend or wife's age, and they've got a son together. Um, and we've done the math and she would have been 16 or 17 when she fell pregnant. And that was the exact age gap between me and my ex-partner. We, I was 16, he was 27 and I was groomed. This then, obviously, as it does on the internet, carried on and Boo made another post showing that a minor had contacted them and claimed that Paul was DMing 
this minor when they were 15. He said he was upset to hear about her health and sorry to see her struggling and suffering, which is the same thing basically he said when he liked the minor's post who, who had cancer, which is a very interesting thing to do, Paul. Very helpful for 15-year-olds and 16-year-old girls. Nice job, man. And then this video was posted on Reddit. I saw it there, unfortunately. It's really eye-opening. Paul's a weird guy, it turns out. Paul's a man who sees nothing wrong with what he has done. And he does, in fact, love 16-year-old girls. So Paul's an older guy, as we know. He's 42 years old. He's got a lot of life experience. Not all of it's that good, to be honest. People don't really seem to like him at all. He hasn't had a great response to all this at, at all. Not even a little bit. He just turned everything off and went full scorched earth, but then simultaneously just admits to being a f creep at the same time. But if Paul has problematic behavior now, I use the word problematic very loosely. Maybe someone may have found a pattern of his behavior in the past as well. As I said, prying eyes find big, fat, stinking lies. I didn't say that. I just said it that time. And everyone on the internet basically thinks that they're a private investigator in 2023 as well. So a few people that looked deep into Paul's past found some interesting things, if they're true, of course. A Twitter account from 2014 had been found under the name of Paul. It's possible that it's an impersonator. There's two other impersonators. These are very obviously fake. It's an old PFP of him with his son, it looks like, who's maybe four or five years old. Doesn't matter. But by the estimation, you could say he had a kid around that around that time, 2010, let's say, four years before the account was created. Kid's about that age, who knows? Maybe he's 29, 30 years old. Now these pseudo sleuths did some further investigating and in some TikTok videos claimed to have found his Facebook account. And by finding this, they claim to have deduced that he impregnated a 17-year-old girl when he was 27 years old. And now that was in the United Kingdom. Uh, the age of consent is 16 there, and it's 18 in the United States. So that seems weird here, but maybe that's normal in the United Kingdom. Um, we did absolutely destroy you guys in 1776, and I think we left things like that in the past. Um, so, you know, while not technically illegal, it is definitely fucking weird because that it's still a minor. And I think he probably knows that it's really, really, really bizarre because he's been questioned recently and he doesn't really confirm or deny it. Did you get a 17 year old pregnant? Did I get who pregnant? A 17 year old pregnant. I thought I got a 15, 16, 20, 19, 18, 14, 10. Right. Do you have a baby mom? No, I'm not talking about anybody in my family mm -hmm. at all. And it's kind of hilarious. This guy truly peaked in high school. It's dope or sorry, third primary ball school or whatever it's called <laughs> whatever the uk calls it i don't even know dude who cares now as a result of all this crazy stuff that we've learned about paul many people have tried to get him removed from the internet i'm not trying to do that because i like to watch things unfold as an example the edp situation very entertaining i want to see things go and i hope that there's no victims all right hopefully no one gets swindled hopefully no one gets hurt etc people really want this guy to get the fuck off the internet there's petitions. There's an Etsy page for selling Christmas cards that just bust his balls. How weird is that? That doesn't even make any sense. But who do we really feel bad for here? Paul? Do we feel bad for Paul? I don't know. He's done a lot of really weird stuff, guys. I don't want to say he should go to jail or anything like that, but from what we know so far, he's done some really bizarre shit. But that also is not all that he's done. There's actually another little funny thing that he's that he admitted to on a on a, in a TikTok video, live stream. He would act inappropriately to people under his care in homes. I will hug a resident, and I will side kiss a resident if they need that love and support. Which is kinda not really what you're supposed to do, I don't think. This made a lot of people mad too, as you could probably imagine, and then he clarified and made a video backtracking where he says it was just a side kiss, not a kiss on the cheek, a side kiss, it's just, not romantic hugs, it's just hugs. It's a bizarre thing to say. You have to have very little self-awareness to say something so absurd that you need to backtrack so instantly without it being a joke or anything tongue in cheek or facetious. It's just creepy, it just comes across as weird. So is Paul a dangerous man? I don't know. Does he need to be under supervision constantly? Probably. <laughs> Thankfully, we can do that, kind of. That's like, the reason I made this video is because he's been under constant user supervision. It's it's really entertaining. He's chronically on lives and he's pretending to be 20 years younger than he actually is, which is sad and believes in a dating pool that's the same group, which is bizarre as 
as well. And he dresses like a dork. He goes into clubs designated for teenagers. One can only cringe when watching his content. And from the looks of it, he's not stopping anytime soon. Paul Breach, a breach of child safety. Little news update. While this video was being recorded, our friend Paul was deleted from TikTok permanently. All right, guys, for what? I don't know. He's innocent, right? He's gone, though. I tell you what, his account's gone. Boom. And he said he's going to go back to a normal life. He's, he's taking it in stride. He's not crying on a Snapchat story that his account got deleted, even though he's 40 years old. And also, he's gone forever. He's not actually just recreated a new account that has over 20,000 followers. And he said he was going to take a break, but he didn't. All right. He didn't do anything he said initially once his account was deleted. And also, he's creepy. Hey, Paul, if you're watching this, how about you act your age? All right. You're 40, brother. I'm 26. And I make you look stupid.